Mr. President, words can't describe the emotions I felt watching the ruthless Taliban once again seize control of Afghanistan, the very same country from where terrorists plotted the attacks on America two decades earlier. The world watched hopelessly as tens of thousands of people, including American citizens and our Afghan allies, desperately attempted to escape the terror and bleak future certain to return under the rule of the Taliban. Through the chaos and the panic, the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces who once freed the nation from the terrorist regime, stood as protectors at the Kabul airport for those who were desperately seeking a way out. Then, on August 26, a terrorist attack at the airport claimed the lives of 13 of these brave service members who were assisting with the evacuation, marking one of the deadliest days for U.S. forces during the 20-year conflict. Marine Corporal Dagan William Tyler Page was one of those killed in action on that day. Dagan was a young man from Red Oak, Iowa, who truly represents the greatness of our state, our country, and the United States Marine Corps in which he proudly served. Dagan may have been just 23 years old, but he died a hero who lived a life of service to his community and to his nation. Our hearts go out to those to whom he meant the most. His girlfriend, Jessica, his parents, Wendy and Craig Adelson, and Greg and Jenny Page, his grandparents, and his four siblings, Corey, Garrett, Mason, and Emerson, to whom Dakin has always been a hero, even before he became a Marine. The wounds of war obviously aren't just born by the warrior. It is the family of the fallen who will carry these scars for a lifetime. The hole left in the lives by the loss of Dagan can never, ever be filled. So let's also keep Dagan's family in our prayers. Being from Red Oak, Iowa, I know Dagan's family. I've grown up with Dagan's family. It was my best friend in Red Oak that texted me after that explosion at the Kabul airport. And she's the one that told me that Wendy Ty's son, Dagan, had been killed in this explosion. So I gave the family time to come together. And that next morning, I called Wendy's mother, Peggy. I love Peggy very much. I love their entire family very much. And I told her I was so sorry about the loss of Dagan. And she told me, Joni, just please let everybody know what an amazing young man that Dagan was. And he was an extraordinary young man. And she told me before we ended our conversation, and she said, Joni, give that precious Libby of yours a hug for me, like I used to so many years ago when she was a little girl. And she said, you never know when you will get that last hug from someone you love. And Peggy, I did. 
I gave my daughter Libby a hug. So while Dagan was a tough Marine, he really was, again, an amazing young man. He was fun-loving and he had a giant heart and a soft spot for animals. He had three dogs, Shia, Gracie, and Finn. Growing up in Red Oak and then in Omaha, Dagan's commitment to service began at a young age as a longtime member of the Boy Scouts. While he was just a child when the terrorists attacked America on September 11th of 2001, after graduating from Millard South High School, he answered the call to serve his country by joining the U.S. Marine Corps. Dagan's family says he loved the Brotherhood of the Marines and was proud to serve as a member of the 2nd Battalion, 1st Marine Regiment at Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton, California. Dagan was always a dedicated team member. It didn't matter what it was, but he was dedicated, according to his former hockey teammates who together won the Nebraska State Championship Tournament. Omaha's hockey community is fittingly paying tribute to Dagan by placing hockey sticks on their porches in his memory. A memorial service to celebrate Dagan's life is being held this Friday at St. Paul Lutheran Church in Omaha. Like his family, teammates, and fellow service members, we mourn the loss of Dagan but also honor his heroism and his valor. He has been awarded the Purple Heart for making that ultimate sacrifice while in the line of duty. His life in Red Oak, Iowa and Omaha, Nebraska, and his death remind us that this world is a very dangerous place with many wishing to do the United States harm. Our protection here at home depends upon the sacrifice and the service of many heroes, those like Dagan. Let it not be forgotten that thousands of other lives were rescued from pending doom because of the bravery of Dagan and the 12 other service members who lost their lives that day while standing guard to ensure the safe passage of others out of Afghanistan. While it's heartbreaking that he was taken from this world too soon, Dagan will forever have the gratitude of our nation. So Wendy and Greg and to your families, Please accept my heartfelt condolences on the loss of your beautiful son, Dave. The American people will never forget him, nor will they ever forget his life of service. Semper Fidelis Dakin, and Godspeed. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor.